everybody, it's your boy D to the E. I know it's been over a month since I've made a video and uh, there's been a lot of things going on in my life personally uh, that I've had to deal with. So I apologize uh, about that. And uh, But we are, I am going to continue uh, following what I want to do here. And uh, it's a lot of work and uh, I'm focused and ready to, ready to keep it going, you know, despite all the things that are happening with me. Uh, as far as World of Warcraft goes, Man, we are in some craziness right now, aren't we? I don't really know what's going on. I mean, I, I I understand the concept of what, you know, what's happening when two companies merge, Activision, Blizzard, whatnot. But it's it, there's a scope of things that are happening over multiple courses of games, you know, with Diablo, with World of Warcraft, um, uh, StarCraft, you know, uh, uh, Heroes of the Storm. There's just so much going on. Uh, but I'm, I'm going to touch base on World of Warcraft here. And uh, talk about uh, specifically at uh, patch 8.1, and uh, there's already tons of videos out there. I'm kind of behind on the on the uh, on the news here, so you if you're watching this, you probably already know. But my personal thoughts, you know, um, uh, I raided full time on my monk here as a Miss Weaver, and uh, went through old deer. Uh, from you know every week tw twice a week, you know, and uh, it was cool. Everything was cool uh, I didn't I didn't really uh, have a problem with it when the patch first got dropped uh, 8.1 per first you know first got dropped I played a little bit of the PTR uh, I was a little excited about certain aspects of things and then I was severely let down when I actually got to see it live um, the assaults Glorified world crest quest. That's, that's how I'm seeing that it's just you know, you add new currency on top of that, and uh, you know, you you put some put some goodies at the end of that. You say, hey, you know what? Da, da, da. You know how they what they did with the Azerite gear should have been there at the beginning of the game when the game first launched. In terms of now having a vendor, I said this a long time ago. We should. Have, where's the vendor at? I was saying it in guild chat. Why don't they bring the vendors back? Allow me to choose what pieces I want. You know, yada yada yada. Still a little RNG. You know. In there, though, in terms of, like, if you got a little bit, you can take the roll of the dice, see maybe you can get some of that, you know, in terms of, you know, some of the Azerite gear at a certain uh, gear level, or you can save your Azerite, or you can save your your uh, your your currency and uh, go for an actual piece that you actually want, thus making you play a little bit more, you know, got that, that wheel going. So, um, Warfronts, uh, Dark Shore was, was fun the first time. Um, it was fun. I, I liked it. I enjoyed it. And then, um, I, I was, I found myself re-rolling, uh, uh, my shaman or not re-rolling my shaman, but basically leveling up my shaman and re-rolling elemental whatnot playing as my shaman. And I literally fell asleep. Like I literally fell asleep. Like I literally was playing and I got so bored in the warfront that I fell asleep. So that is saying something. Cause for me to fall asleep during a video game, that's come on. Okay. And, um, you know, the, the the quest lines just they're short speed spoon feeding us you know cutting it off here you know it's like going through a maze and then you hit that solid door that doesn't open until everybody in the maze has gotten to a certain point and then you're like okay good now the door is open but you gotta sit there and wait till that happens that's that's annoying to me um you know a lot a lot of cliffhangers are happening uh to the game so I mean, this is going to be a very short video in terms of, like, my general opinion. Uh, you know, it's end of the year video. Uh, Blizzard's not doing too well. The games aren't doing too well. Uh, a lot of people are jumping ship. A lot of my friends have quit. They don't want to play no more. I, and I don't blame them. You know, before I, I used to be able to defend World of Warcraft, there was a definitive definition of why you should play this game. Boom, 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 boom. Now I, I, I can't defend it. Uh, I'm actually playing other games, which I'm going to touch on in other videos. I haven't decided if I'm jumping ship just yet. Uh, I still am uh, raiding uh, with my uh, guild of Disturbed on Hygel, and um, and uh, so that's where I'm going to stay uh, as of right now. But um, I don't know what's going to happen in the next couple of years or next couple of months coming into the new year. Uh, you know, 2019, y'all, happy new year. You know, if y'all going out tonight, doing your thing, be safe, you know. I'll be out DJing, you know, I DJ every every New Year's, you know. And uh, so that's what I'll be doing. But uh, in terms of World of Warcraft, you know, this is um this is going to be interesting. Can, can patch 8.2 save World of Warcraft? I don't, I don't believe that, uh, you know, in the history of the game, 14, 15 years, whatever you want to, what I say, you know, I've been playing since the beginning. 
and uh, I've I've taken breaks many times throughout that that the time uh, was it consistent because that'd be crazy, and um, you know I saw this in Warlords, saw this a little bit in Pan uh, Pandaria, you know, and 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 then you can't save a game off one patch. You can't. It's, it it took time for Activision to put their claws into the company we love and shred it apart, you know, and then tape it all back together and then put it on like a costume and go, hey, we're still Blizzard. Look at us. Ah, uh, 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 shake my hand. It's like, nah, nah, I got a burn from the last time. I'm good. And uh, it just feels like, you know, this is going to be another topic for another video. These companies that are like a virus that come in and just destroy the great companies, they, the great game companies come up with great concepts, good ideas, good games. And you got these virusy companies coming in and just taking over and just destroying everything. It's crazy. So I don't think 8.2 is going to be able to save a game. Will it, will it, does it have the potential to bring people back? Maybe. I say maybe. Uh, you know, when you have games like this, it takes time to lose your customer base. We don't just quit after one patch. One bad patch, it happens. We're all human, right? It takes time. So if, uh, you know, you release a patch and it's boo-boo, you know, word spreads, ah, oh, da-da-da-da. Then you reach another one, da-da-da. New expansion comes out, uh, not not too good, da-da-da. You know, and so uh, it's going to take time. Uh, right now, the morale in Blizzard, as to, as to my understanding, is the employees themselves are not even, like, feeling what's going on. The devs are not feeling what's going on. They're saying stuff like, you know, World of Warcraft's not going to get any better. Uh, you know, just basically shattering all the dreams and hopes of all of us that have been playing this game and putting so much time and effort into this game for so many, so many years. So I don't know what's going to happen. I hope that the game does make a comeback, but this could literally be the era the era of the end and a lot of people um including myself do be honestly believe that you know nothing lasts forever as so famously said in world of warcraft by uh, artist's father and um you know maybe this is about this maybe maybe the time has come for the great giant of world of warcraft to be the uh dethroned for another an, another mmo because this is a prime time you know uh uh what's that game uh, uh path of exiles is already capitalized on the diablo market it's brilliant what they did. Diablo messed up. They messed up all that. And everyone was like, I'm done with Diablo. Had to end that uh, path of exile. I was like, yo, check it out. We're like Diablo, but better. Check us out. I don't know. That's up for the, up, up for the bait. I'm still a Diablo man. I, you know, I'm still a fanboy. But at the same time, I'm a realist. And, um, you know, I played. I went back and replayed the news into the new season. And I went from, like, level one all the way up. I got to, like, uh, uh I think I got to like 54. Um, uh, no, no, I, I leveled all the way to 70, and then I got like um, uh, like the advancements. I got like 54 points, or whatever it's called. I can't remember the top of my head, but but uh, the point I'm trying to make here is from level one all the way up to that stop stopping point. I didn't play with one person. It was a ghost town up in that piece. There was nobody. I was walking. I was yelling out, "Anybody here? 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 Here?" There was nobody. No, everybody was gone. There were still people playing, of course, but just in my personal experience, if you need a player coming into Diablo, you'd be like, where is it? Where did everybody go? Where did everybody go? To clear it out, to clear the whole section. It's all gone. I don't know. So, you know, there's so many different points that I'm trying to make in this video, but the, the whole general scope of this video is just to let you know that I'm coming back. DZDE is going to keep making some videos. As of right now, I'm still staying on World of Warcraft. There may be some other games that I might be switching to. I am uh, currently playing uh, Warframe. Uh, uh, I am currently also looking into Ashes of Creation, uh, just to give you an idea. Uh, so, uh, but I'll touch base on those videos on, for their own video. Um, so, what do you think about 8.2? What do you think about this whole general general um, consensus, this movement of everyone's just quitting WoW? Because there's so many videos coming out, so many people are quitting WoW. Content creators, I'm starting, I'm a new content creator. I'm trying to become a content creator. And other content creators who I follow and, and adore are like saying they're quitting. And how does that do for my morale? I'm like, well, maybe I'm in the wrong market. Maybe I need to like rethink my thinking right now because I don't want to be keep making stuff, content for a dead game. Who wants to do that? I don't know. What do you think? 8.2, Savior? Well, can it save it? Is it on the right path? Is World of Warcraft on its end? We don't know. So leave your comments down below and let me know. I know I got a couple people talking about my Sour Fang and uh, Sylvanas video. If there's anybody else you want me to do, any other any other hero or something you want me to, to, to break it down, 
is basically like I break down the story in in street talk that's basically what's going on right there so let me know and uh, I'll see you guys later it's another one from your boy DCD if you like it thumbs up if you didn't like it it's all okay to thumbs down I'll see you guys in the next video peace out